video, you're going to see me remove some lifting off of my nail because it was so severe. Look at that. I've got my Panna medium bit that spins both directions because I'm left-handed. I don't know why they don't make all bits like that because you, you know, if you're nail tech, you do both your nails, your hands, so you need the bit to spin in both directions. But, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to start by removing the top coat and removing any thickness gently. My finger is sore. I was literally just pulling my pants down, put my hands like, in my pants, and then I like, pulled them down with my hands in them. Like pajama pants or sweatpants, and then all of a sudden it was just like, like I felt it like lift, and it was pretty painful and sensitive because if I like hit it, it would just ooh, it would just be so painful. I didn't want to like glue it because that's bad. Don't do that. Don't put glue. Um, and I didn't want to rip it off because that would be even more painful. So I decided let's just make a video how to get rid of this. So you just want to thin the product down gently, very gently through the whole nail because we're going to take off most of it. And it's better to thin the whole thing down and then reapply. And so I can kind of tell where it's been lifted. So I'm just going to thin out that area more so, so we can start removing this lifted bit. I'm like, kind of like pulling it away and I can see, I can see where it's lifting and like, you know, when you do that with your nails, like, that's like the, that's a stress point right there. And there's no product on the stress point. So it's going to make the tip of your nail very heavy and it can damage your nail even more. So I think I did a little bit of damage to my natural nail from this happening and the reason this happened is improper prep. That's honestly what it comes down to. It's whatever you did first. So either I did not prep this nail properly, maybe I left some skin behind on my natural nail, or I just didn't buff it enough for this hard gel. Let's bear in mind, like, this is hard gel. This is what is more likely to happen with hard gel than soft gel because your fingernail your fingernail is bendy right so as, uh, as you guys can see i'm just thinning out the product more and pieces are flying off right because it's not attached so there's still a little bit more lifting here so i'm just going to go in and gently remove it i'm not touching the natural nail okay but when you don't cut properly this is how, this is what can happen, right? And if your client can't come see you right away to get it removed, like, what are they supposed to do, you know? So, definitely a painful process. You can damage your natural nail. Like, mine feels like it has a bit of damage because it feels like white, like white in the middle. And bending it like that, I, I ended up shortening my nails after this because it was, I can't handle the long nail life. Just thin them out. And honestly, I ended up doing this for like all of my nails. I, I just removed most of the product and thinned them all out. Now, what I was saying, hard gel. Hard gel is hard. Your nail has, it has flex, right? So that's why doing a soft gel manicure with like a soak off builder gel, that is going to bend with your nails. So if you have a client with super bendy nails, like that is a better route for them. But if they want length, you do have to use a hard gel. So just bear that in mind when you have your clients. Um, hard gel is more likely to lift than soft gel. Ten times more likely to lift. Look at this. Ready? So this is a short one. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, which should be coming out really soon. I'm